finally, we are getting into spring weather here in uh, Anchorage, Alaska, guys. Damo is stoked, Alaska. We got my fiance, Brooklyn, in the back. Today will be her second mini tour. Uh, today's gonna be a lot longer than the one, our previous video that we posted in Hatcher Pass. And it's gonna be the first video in a series that I am starting going over how to get into uh, backcountry snowboarding or skiing for beginners. Um, so we're gonna hit this line. We've got quite a long hike. Uh, when we get to the top and start strapping in and throughout the day, I'm just gonna be dropping a bunch of uh, hints for those of you guys who uh, may not be beginner snowboarders or skiers, but uh, don't really dabble much in the backcountry. Um, there's a lot of important tips you need to know to keep you and your party safe whenever you're coming into the backcountry. And uh, the first thing I can tell you right off the bat is know before you go. So basically that means is if you're going into a new territory or territory you've already been into, you need to know what the snow conditions are like, what uh, avi, what avi conditions are like, and just overall knowing everything about that place before you go so you can make sure you're safe. So today we looked everything up. Uh, avi conditions back here in Arctic Valley are low. Uh, we did just get a couple fresh inches of snow without the uh, throughout the last couple of days, but we also had a lot of wind. So that means a lot of the slopes above steeper than 30 degrees are gonna be a little wind loaded. But uh, yeah, overall, just gonna be a good day. Tip number two, uh, make sure when you're in the backcountry that you uh, know the layering system. Layer up, today's a super warm day. Brooklyn's always super cold. So she wore two pairs of leggings, an under jacket and then a shell, but she just uh, shed it down to just this under jacket. I always stay hot, so I've got a long sleeve shirt and this light layer, and then I have an actual snowboarding shell in my backpack to put on once we get to the top. Because uh, you don't want to be wet in the backcountry, especially if it's a long tour. So that means you don't want cotton, you want some sort of synthetic or even wool. Um, wool has been doing, or wool has been like rising uh, in the market right now. Uh, merino wool, is that what it's called? Yeah, merino wool. But we are at the base of our approach, and we're gonna get up there. All right, not too bad, we made it up to the top. Tip number three, make sure you bring water. In our case, we brought Fireball. Uh, totally worth it, it'll do. But uh, yeah, we uh, tip number four, back to back, when you're hiking up and you think you're gonna be going down the same line that you basically hiked up, be on the lookout for features that you might wanna hit or possible terrain traps like gullies or uh, exposed rocks, things like that. We are actually going down the same way that we took up. So I did look at a couple features. So let's see if the GoPro works.
that's what you live for.